everybody, what's up? It's Grace, and today I'm going to be doing a very sweet and exciting video. A video a lot different from the videos that I usually do. This one's going to be quite chatty. This video is being sponsored by Simon & Schuster, so a huge thank you to them. And this particular video is inspired by Stay Sweet by Simone Vivian, which will be released on April 24th. So in this novel, we follow a young girl named Amelia, and her summer job is working at an ice cream stand. But it's so much more than just a summer job for her. Ever since way back in its opening, they opened with an all-girl staff, and since then they've continued with that tradition. So because of this, Amelia has made really great friendships and she considers it a sisterhood. For this summer, she's actually going to be the manager and she wants to pay it forward and make sure all of her coworkers have the best summer like she's had the previous ones. But something very unexpected happens and the grand nephew of the founder of the ice cream shop gets a job there. And so since it's always been run by girls and this summer it's Amelia's, she's the manager of it. And so the first time that she's the manager, it's kind of just totally completely different and so he comes in and I don't think he cares about the traditions so that adds some conflict there. I think this is going to be such a fun read given that ice cream is a huge part of this novel even like in I think it was a blurb that I read that ice cream is its own character especially when I think about reading to all the boys I've ever loved trilogy how baking was a huge part in that book and it just made me really excited. I don't even like baking but I do love ice cream so I just feel like it's just gonna be really sweet and um, definitely there's gonna be some enlightenment I feel like Amelia is gonna show Grady the Grand nephew, just how things are run and that he can't just come in and pretty much upturn everything. I feel like they're both gonna discover great things and the summer is gonna be epic and it's just gonna be a great summer read. You're probably wondering what this video is gonna be about since it's titled Ice Cream Sunday. Like what does that entail? What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making my own version of a Sunday and I'm gonna be just updating you guys on my life. Also other booktubers are going to be doing the same style of the Ice Cream Sunday video every Sunday of this month which is really awesome. I know that Hannah over at A Clockwork Reader did a video like this so I will go ahead and link her video down below. You should check it out because it's really lovely. I'm also going to be hosting a giveaway where you can win a copy of Stay Sweet in addition to another prize, which stick around till the end of the video to check it out, and then how to enter the giveaway. So without further ado, let's get started with making this ice cream sundae and talking about my life because it is super interesting. It's not really, but... Let's just pretend. So I decided to make my ice cream sundae in my room because my room's much more cuter and brighter than the kitchen. And I feel like it has that like colorful pastel vibe of a really cute little ice cream shop. While I really love ice cream, I don't like a bunch of things on my ice cream. So I'm pretty much just going really simple with this ice cream sundae. So I pick just plain old vanilla ice cream, some Hershey's chocolate syrup, some cherries that go with Shirley Temples, I don't know really know how to pronounce them, and some sprinkles just to make this sundae look really cute. I also picked up this super cute little jar, I think I got it at Ross, and it's just so cute and I thought it'd be cute for this video. So, I mean, I don't know if I should tell you what I'm doing because I'm just, you know, scooping the ice cream on here. And so after that, I'm just gonna put some chocolate syrup on it. Ooh, that's a lot. And my sprinkles. That's really cute. And then the cherries. So here is the finished product. I am a freaking dessert chef. I mean, it's cute. It's kind of cute. It's pretty cute. But is it good though? That is the ultimate question. So here we go. Mm-hmm. It is very good. Okay, so on to my life. If you guys aren't aware, I recently moved. I used to live with my best friends, McKenna and Sierra, and it was so fun living on my own, especially with my best friends, because it was like a slumber party every night. And you know, it was just super fun, and we got to decorate. It really felt like I was an interior designer, because we had our own apartment, we got to do whatever we wanted with it, and it was so cute. But unfortunately, living on my own was just so expensive. I wanted to go back to school, and so that was just another, you know, expense that I had to pay for. And it just just wasn't feasible like I couldn't work go to school and pay my rent and all that so I moved in with my sister and her boyfriend who are two of the loveliest people ever they my sister is my best friend I know that with a lot of sisters like you fight a lot and I feel like definitely we did when we were younger but since we're older now we're just like best friends and it is again kind of like a slumber party every night I love living with my sister she's I describe my sister as being the best human she is just so wonderful I love her 
for a boyfriend. He's like my brother and it's just a great time. I also am going to be going back to school. I'm going to start summer classes and then transition to the fall semester. Um, what I want to be doing is I want to be a teacher, but I also want to double major in film. I want to learn about screenplay and writing, pretty much anything that goes with making a movie and being in a movie. If you weren't aware, I um, been in acting since I was like in sixth grade and then prior just kind of just being dramatic and being in my room and making little films on like my mom's cameras. So film and acting is a huge part of my life as well. I also love kids and I would love to be a teacher. So that's another huge passion of mine. I'm trying to think of other interesting things in my life. Oh, something very interesting that is happening, which is very wild is my parents are getting remarried after I think like 20 plus years of, yeah, 20, 21 years of being divorced. So that is a really cool, a little bit strange thing for me. You know, life is weird and that's just a weird thing, but really awesome at the same time. They're getting remarried, I think next week. <laughs> it's just, it's wild guys. I also just got hired at a new job and I also am going to maybe be getting a second job. So I'm going to be very busy working two jobs, going to school and then keeping up with YouTube. But a thing about me is I love to stay busy. I feel like structure and um, a sense of schedule just makes life so much easier for me. I love to be like organized. I like to know what is going on the next day. I like everything to be planned. I mean, I do like spontaneous things as well, but for the majority of it, I do like to have a schedule and knowing what, you know, like the next day is gonna bring. Am I nervous to start my new jobs? Heck yes, because the thing about me is I get nervous way too freaking easily and it's just, it honestly sucks. And you know, on the first day of classes, I get that nervous stomach and I'm like, I really don't know why I'm nervous for the simplest of things. My interview, I was so nervous and like, I was just like, I don't know if I can do this and I did it. And I was just like, calm down Grace, you don't need to be so nervous. But that's just life, we all go through it. Um, so I am excited to start my new job, but I am just a little bit nervous. Moving on to my summer plans, I really don't have any besides, you know, going to school. Um, my other best friend Hallie, me and her have been discussing possibly driving up north and like spending a week just driving and, you know, staying at some hotels and just sightseeing and not planning it whatsoever because that's really scary for me not to plan it, but I feel like that's an obstacle in life that I should overcome because I'm like a little bit scared of not of just, you know, going out, going into uncharted territory, not and not having a plan. But I feel like that's a silly thing to be scared of. So that's something that my friend Hallie was just like, let's just go do it. And I'm like, yes, I agree. So that is possibly in the works. So yeah, I don't really have anything specifically planned for the summer, just kind of, you know, school, work, maybe going up north. Um, but next summer, me and my uh, best friend Hallie, we are planning to go to Scotland or Ireland or something like that. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to. I mean, other than that, my life's just chillin'. It's pretty chill. Um, books that I'm excited to read, I'm actually currently reading Restore Me by Tara Moffey, which I'm loving and I'm like, oh, this is the best thing ever. My next read is going to be Orphan Monster Spy by Matt Colleen. I also definitely am going to be reading Stay Sweet this summer because it is the definition of a great summer read. And another novel that I have on my reading list for the summer is This Is Not A Love Letter by Kim Purcell which is another anticipated read of mine. I feel like that's pretty much it for the exciting things of my life. If you guys wanna know what I do like on a day to day, antique shopping is a huge hobby of mine. Me and my sister, we today we were like, let's, I need to go get, you know, the stuff to make uh, the Sunday. And so, you know, that was our intention, just go get stuff to make the Sunday. But I ended up buying like a shirt this really cute jar thing, some other little knickknacks. Um, so yeah, another passion of mine is just pretty much shopping and buying random stuff. For example, let me show you the other two things that I bought that are not necessary, but like very necessary. I bought these very cute cat headphones that were only $10 and they work fairly well for being so cheap. And then I really needed to get a shower cap and I found this on the checkout. We were at TJ Maxx and it was just sitting there and I was like, well, I need a shower cap. And it's this bunny shower cap. Let's just go ahead and Try it on. I know that the lighting is probably really weird right now because it keeps getting really bright and then pretty dark, but that's just because it's a gloomy day and I use natural light and the clouds are like, pass, oh wait, oh wait, I'm coming back. So, sorry about that. That reminds me of that 70s episode when Kelsey's like, damn, Jackie, I can't control the weather. So here is this much needed bunny shower cap. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look ridiculous on me. I'm looking pretty good. I think this is gonna be my new accessory every day. Plus these cat headphones, like, I'm a hybrid. But yeah, those are just some examples of the unnecessary but completely necessary items that I buy. 
So that is pretty much it for the life update. So now getting on to the giveaway. So since in Stay Sweet, this ice cream shop is ran by all women, Savon Vivian wanted to incorporate that into the giveaway items. Like I said in the beginning of the video, different booktubers are going to be doing this same style video, and, but their prize is going to be different for the giveaway. The specific prize for my giveaway, if you want to enter it, is this really cute, simple wallet clutch. So this is it. And this is from the brand Claire V. And then when you open it up, it looks kind of like jeans. So if you're interested in getting a copy of Stay Sweet along with this Claire V clutch, I will go ahead and leave the giveaway link below. I'm using Rafflecopter, so just click the link and follow the prompt. It's pretty simple. The giveaway is US only though. That was my ice cream sundae video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a really fun time making it. If you guys are interested in more like chatty getting to know me videos, let me know because this is just such a, like a chill video, chill relaxing video to make. I hope you guys are having a great time wherever you're at and I will see you in my next video. Bye.